Day 175, Saturday, June 10, Numbers 28 and 29. Numbers 28 1 to 31 NKJV. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say to them, My offering, my food for my offerings made by fire is a sweet aroma to me, you shall be careful to offer to me at their appointed time. And you shall say to them, This is the offering made by fire which you shall offer to the Lord, two male lambs in their first year without blemish, day by day, as a regular burnt offering. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, the other lamb you shall offer in the evening, and one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering mixed with one-fourth of a hint of pressed oil. It is a regular burnt offering which was ordained at Mount Sinai for a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. And its drink offering shall be one-fourth of a hin for each lamb. In a holy place you shall pour out the drink to the Lord as an offering. The other lamb you shall offer in the evening, as the morning grain offering and its drink offering. You shall offer it as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. And on the Sabbath day two lambs in their first year, without blemish, and two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, with its drink offering. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering. At the beginnings of your months you shall present a burnt offering to the Lord, two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year without blemish, three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, for each bull, two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, for the one ram, and one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with oil, as a grain offering for each lamb, as a burnt offering of sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. Their drink offering shall be half a hin of wine for a bull, one-third of a hin for a ram, and one-fourth of a hin for a lamb. This is the burnt offering for each month throughout the months of the year. Also one kid of the goats as a sin offering to the Lord shall be offered, besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord, and on the fifteenth day of this month is the feast. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work, and you shall present an offering made by fire as a burnt offering to the Lord, two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year. Be sure they are without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil. Three-tenths of an ephah you shall offer for a bull, and two-tenths for a ram. You shall offer one-tenth of an ephah for each of the seven lambs, also one goat as a sin offering, to make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a regular burnt offering. In this manner you shall offer the food of the offering made by fire daily for seven days, as a sweet aroma to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. And on the seventh day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. Also on the day of the first fruits, when you bring a new grain offering to the Lord at your feast of weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. You shall present a burnt offering as a sweet aroma to the Lord, two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year, with their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each bull, two-tenths for the one ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one kid of the goats, to make atonement for you. Be sure they are without blemish. You shall present them with their drink offerings, besides the regular burnt offering with its grain offering. Numbers 29 1-40 NKJV. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. For you it is a day of blowing the trumpets. 
You shall offer a burnt offering as a sweet aroma to the Lord, one young bull, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year, without blemish. Their grain offering shall be fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one kid of the goats as a sin offering, to make atonement for you. Besides the burnt offering with its grain offering for the new moon, the regular burnt offering with its grain offering, and their drink offerings, according to their ordinance, as a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. On the tenth day of this seventh month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall afflict your souls, you shall not do any work. You shall present a burnt offering to the Lord as a sweet aroma, one young bull, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year. Be sure they are without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the one ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one kid of the goats as a sin offering. Besides the sin offering for atonement, the regular burnt offering with its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. You shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord, thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year. They shall be without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two-tenths for each of the two rams, and one-tenth for each of the fourteen lambs, also one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the second day present twelve young bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance, also one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering with its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the third day present eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fourth day present ten bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year, without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance. Also one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day present nine bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the sixth day present eight bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the seventh day present seven bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day you shall have a sacred assembly. You shall do no customary work. You shall present a burnt offering, 
an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord, one bull, one ram, seven lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs, by their number, according to the ordinance, also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. These you shall present to the Lord at your appointed feasts, besides your vowed offerings and your freewill offerings, as your burnt offerings and your grain offerings, as your drink offerings and your peace offerings. So Moses told the children of Israel everything, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Daily Deep Dive The UCG reading plan states the following. Chapters 28 and 29 provide a review of laws regarding offerings to be made each day, on the Sabbath, on the new moon, the first day of the month, and during God's feasts. Frequent repetition is a tool God uses often to emphasize important features of His laws. In reading about the various offerings mentioned here, consider that we must demonstrate to God our devotion to Him every single day of our lives. But there are special occasions He has appointed for us to go beyond our normal devotion in spending more time reflecting on His will and more time honoring and serving Him. End. Chapter 28. Verse 2. God calls in Leviticus, the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the peace offering, sweet-smelling aromas. Additionally, here He calls them His offerings and my food. Verses 3 and 4. As part of the daily offerings, they were to offer a male lamb, symbolic of Jesus Christ, as a burnt offering, totally consumed and entire life given to God, both in the morning and again in the evening. This word for evening is the same as used in Genesis 1 during creation for counting evening and morning portions as a day. It is also the word used in Exodus 12 6 for describing when the Passover lamb must be killed. Verses 5, 8, Each burnt offering was accompanied by a grain offering and a drink offering, the bread and the wine. Verse 9, On the Sabbath, the daily offering was doubled, an additional two male lambs, grain-slash-drink offerings. This is another way that the Sabbath was set apart or made to be different from other days of the week. For us, as serving Christians, we often give of ourselves to God and His people the most on the Sabbath day, serving and pouring ourselves out more on that day than any other. Verses 11, 15, to mark the beginning of each month, a large burnt offering was given, each with specific grain and drink offerings. Additionally, a sin offering was given for the general sin of the people. The NKJV version says beside the regular burnt offering. This may have meant in addition to, but the word beside can be translated as upon as is the case of the word in Genesis 1-2 when the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. It's my understanding that the burnt offering was first, followed by the grain and drink offerings, with the sin offering fat burnt on top, upon, of them all. Verse 16, This verse is very clear that Passover is on the fourteenth day, hot portion, of the month during. Verse 17, Unleavened bread begins the day after on the fifteenth. Verse 19, while they were to do no servile work on this holy day, they did have the work of the offerings to do. In addition to the daily offerings, they had a holy day offering that was similar to the monthly offerings. Verse 24, While not every day was holy, God commanded these offerings to be given each day of the seven days of unleavened bread. Every day was special and given special focus as it belonged within this special week. Verse 26, This is the Feast of Pentecost, also called the Feast of Weeks. It likewise had the same offering as each day of unleavened bread or a new month. Chapter 29, We find a similar pattern on both the Feast of Trumpets and the Day of Atonement regarding the burnt offerings, grain, drink and sin offerings. One thing to notice is that the number of bulls has to this point been two animals for the monthly, Passover, Days of ULB and Pentecost Offerings, 
But here on trumpets and atonement they are reduced to one. I've read multiple commentaries and have not seen a good explanation for why. Verse 6, here you have a day where you have the daily offering, the monthly offering and the holy day offering all happen on the same day. Verse 13, here the bulls are increased to 13, the rams and lambs doubled to 2 and 14 respectively. A total of 32 animals, 13 bulls, 2 rams, 14 lambs, 1 goat, and 2 lambs, for the daily burnt offering. Each day of the Feast of Tabernacles, God reduced the number of bulls sacrificed by one bull, keeping the other animals the same, until on the seventh day of the feast, the final day of the Feast of Tabernacles, the number of bulls offered was seven. As we've discussed before, the number seven represents the symbol of perfection and completion. Verse 36, On the eighth day, the burnt offering again contained one bull, like trumpets and atonement. Verse 39, in addition to these offerings, the vow and free will peace offerings would be given of which everyone who was clean was able to feast together with both God and man at peace together.